Hello, my name is Nazir Khan from the Faculty of Civil Engineering Technology and I will be demonstrating uh, factoring of trinomials. Some of the questions that we have to ask ourselves before we start the factoring is the expression factorable. Well, we'll find out that by the time we get through the procedure. Is there a common factor in the trinomial? If we could take out something that's common, then it makes the factoring easier. So we should look at that. When we do get factors, are they prime factors? Meaning, could they be factored further? Okay, so keep that in mind. When we look at the trinomial, we have to have it in descending power, meaning that squared to the first power and to the zero power, which is one, so it's not shown. Okay, this could also be equal to zero. All could, so could be equal to zero. In this case, it is not the a term, the b term, and the c term. Remember the terms are separated by minus and plus signs, in this case minus signs. Okay. When we look at the c term, the sign of the c term, it tells us that the, the factors in these uh, binomials here, one will be a plus, one will be a minus. Okay. So we know that the trinomial will factor as two binomials, two binomials, one will be plus, one will be minus, or vice versa in this case, and that is the sign that tells us that that would happen. Okay, the sign of the C term, if it's a minus, you know that one will be plus or minus, okay, plus or minus, plus or minus. They're not going to be the same sign. The sign of the B term, which is a minus again, tells me that when I multiply the inside term and the outside term, the larger of the product will have a minus sign. Okay, The larger of the product. Let's see if we could look at that. The inside term, we're going to multiply these two, and the outside terms, these two, and the larger number will have the minus sign. So we, we have a way of, uh, a method more or less of uh, how to put our minus and plus, because this sign here tells us one is going to be plus, one is going to be minus, plus or minus. We have to know where to put them. The next thing that we have to look at is the coefficient of the A term and the coefficient of the C term. We have to get factors to place into these positions and for the A term the factors will go into the first position of the binomial and for the C term it will go into the second position of the binomial. Okay. When we look at the factors, there's only one set of factor for your A term. It is S times S or 1S times 1S. Okay. When we look at the C term, that has several factors. It has 1 times 42 would be factors or multiples, 2 times 21, 3 times 14, and 6 times 7. Okay. So these are the factors. When you multiply these, they'll give you 42. When you multiply these, you will get x or s squared. Now, the thing is that uh, we know that this sign tells us one of these will be plus and one will be minus. That represents that you're going to have to subtract the product. You're going to have to subtract the product. Okay. Now, we know that there's only one choice for these spots. It's going to be s and s. Okay. For the second position in the binomial, we have to choose one set of these factors and when we get the product of the inside and the outside terms and you add them algebraically add them together you should have minus one okay now the only set of numbers here that when you subtract them will give you a one is this one this uh, first set of factors if I subtract these I'll get 41 this one will give me 19 this one will give me 11 and this one will give me 1 so that is the set that I have to use in these position let's go and place them in in their position we place the S's in the first position which is right there I've placed the 6 in that position and the 7 in that position and keep in mind again we have to we have to come up with the middle term of a minus S so when we multiply these together, these two, I will get 6s 
for the inside here and I will get 7s the larger of the multiples will carry the minus sign and that's why I put the minus in front of the 7 and the plus in front of the 6 okay the last thing that we have to do now is to check our work and I'm gonna use foil to check my work s times s will give me s squared minus 7s plus 6s will give you minus s and 6 times minus 7 will give you minus 42 so we could feel confident that we have the proper factor the the last thing that we have to do now is to check to see if these could be factored further are they in their prime factored form in this case they are you cannot take out anything you you don't see a difference of squares or any of that so therefore they are in the prime form right there I hope that this de demonstration helps you with your work and thank you bye bye